Repeat time. Hey. 20.3. We've got two workouts more or less combined. 21.15.9. Deadlifts, handstand push ups. Right into 21. 50 foot walk. Uh, deadlifts, handstand walks. Uh, so, first order of business, we are going to talk deadlifts. So, as Jacob demonstrates here, you are starting just like you would and ending your quads locked down, hips all the way open, all the way stacked head to toe. Uh, what you cannot be doing is partially standing up and staying over the bar. See, as you can tell, quads aren't locked, hips aren't locked out. This is going to be a no rep. So no rep again. Now you're going to return to doing good reps. All the way stacked, everything's locked out. All right, so pretty much going to go that way for all three standards today. Everybody will be deadlifting. Next, we're going to move on to our handstand push-ups. So handstand push-ups, you will be kicking all the way up. As you can see, we are stacked from shoulder through arms. Ooh. Shoulders, arms, core is all locked out. We are going to go down into head between the hands, and he's going to kip back up, staying completely locked out, solid through the core. Things you don't want to do is get super lax through the midline. See, as you can tell, overly arched, brings your feet down, makes the movement entirely harder. Or not going up all the way, being partially locked out at the elbows. That is no rep. The other way that you can get no rep today would be just kicking up, and as you go to kip up, falling off from the wall. Yes, no rep. So one more good rep. <laughs> one more good rep. And a no rep. Oh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> one good rep. And good rep. All right, let's go down. Fantastic. Round of applause for Jacob for doing a million handstand push-ups. Alright, next thing we're moving on to is the dumbbell push press. Same thing today. Weight starts at your shoulders, all the way locked, all the way stacked. And after he's up top, it will be stacked through elbow, shoulder, core. What will be a no rep today is if you're pushing out in front of you. Yes. Pushing out in front and not finishing through the triceps. So, one more good rep. And good. Alright, fantastic. The next one will be hand release push ups. So, hand release push ups. Everything's touching the floor, hands come off. And all the way locked at the top. Everything stacked nice and pretty. Good. Things that will get you no rep is not removing your hands from the floor all the way and not locking at the top. Wonderful. And one more good. Beautiful. All right. On to the last movements. So we have a beautiful handstand walk and air crawls left on the agenda. So, as you start, the your hands must be behind the white line. No throwing your hands forward and starting your walk from in front. It must start from behind that white line. So he will kick up, nice and tight core, walks and he passes the marker. From this marker, if he drops down, he now has to start behind this marker, treat it as the white line. Same thing, walks, hits the second marker, and then he would kick up again. Now, if you kick up and you do not reach the marker, and you fall from here, you return to the white line. This standard also applies for the other five foot markers. If you fall between the marker, you reset to the beginning. Okay, now for bear crawls. Same standards apply, hands start behind, but is elevated, and you'll walk through, and for the rep to be counted, your feet must pass the line. 
If he drops from here and he's halfway, he would then have to return to the marked line and begin again. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. Woo! As you can tell, this one will be spicy. That's easy. That's easy. Easy. Piece of cake. Easy work. All right. So, four tips today. Uh, for deadlifts, if you should be looking to utilize your stretch reflex, try to take sets as opposed to singles to keep things efficient. That being said, don't be afraid to break it up. This is a lot of deadlifts and it gets much heavier later into the workout. So you shouldn't be afraid to back off a little bit and leave a little in the tank for the second, second part of this workout. On those deadlifts, the athlete will add their own weight. You will not have two bars set up. And unless you get someone from the crowd to volunteer to add weight for you, the athlete will add their own weight to the bar. No double bars. We're not providing people to add weight. That is your job if you want that. That's right. That's not uh, For the handstand push-ups and the push press life, make sure and be aware that you need to keep your core very rigid. The more you get lo loose and lax with it, the harder it is to press with those shoulders, the more taxing it gets. You also have a lot of core demand throughout this whole workout, so you don't want to blow out your core on your push press or your handstand push ups before you even get to round two of this workout. Sounds about right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. See you on the floor.